Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And it's March and we're getting pretty excited about VeChain and all the upcoming things that are coming up. And so today we're gonna to be talking about this 2.0, what it means, which direction is VeChain heading towards and why does it matter? I mean, obviously you may have seen uh, talks about VeChain, you may have heard about VeChain, or you may have just come across VeChain for the first time a couple of days ago and you just wanna know more information. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing the links uh, to where these documents are as well, just so you can make it easier for you to do your research. And as always, please do your research and uh, check out everything for yourself. Don't just trust people on the internet to telling you things, even if they call crypto serpents. But let's get right into it. You know, there's um, some really big updates coming to VeChain, and it's starting to get pretty exciting for the project, and also for the value of the coin and and what it means moving forward as a potential top ten player in the market. So very significant things that are coming to VeChain and the 2.0 um, DeFi move to move into DeFi finance, I believe is going to um, be amazing for this particular for this particular token. And there's a lot, a lot of talks about it. And in this particular document, in the white paper document, it talks about where VeChain is heading, some of the technical aspects of it. Also, it talks about the economic model and these are really important things to understand, you know, because if we're going to be investing in these cryptocurrencies long term, we, we need to know a little bit about it. So this is a fantastic document, which I will absolutely not read to you out here. Um, it will take you way too long and it's not not very fun hearing me, you know, just talk this whole document through with you. But, you know, the governance of it, how the VeChain for blockchain is actually built, everything is in here from... A technical perspective and some of these things you know you're probably going to read them but like i don't know half of these words but it's important to understand because it is um, a major change coming to vchain and so some articles that have been that have been posted about you know what is vchain how does it work you know um you know why the vchain 2.0 move and and it's move to DeFi finance is going to be really really fascinating and so decentralized finance you know, I mean, the power of this, you know, like to one day be able to use blockchain to decentralize the entire finance world is going to be amazing. But for now, we have different coins and different companies that are working towards this. And now VeChain is going to step into this arena, making it very, very exciting because it's not just, you know, what we've grown to learn about VeChain and love about VeChain, but now it's moving into a, a whole new area. I'm also, I also found this fantastic article, which was only recently published about a couple of, you know, two weeks ago, you know, investing in VeChain, everything you need to know, so that you can get yourself, you know, the right education on the VeChain philosophy, what it does, you know, when it was started, so that when you're out and about saying to people, oh yeah, I invest in cryptocurrency, at least you know what you're investing into and how does it work, the dual token system and how you know the VeChain 4 energy system works you know, compared to um, its main coin, the VET coin. So these are really, really important things to know and also where, where it's heading. And, and obviously, you know, from, um, from an investor point of view, I'm quite excited about VexChange and what it's going to do. So VexChange is going to be the competitor to Uniswap. And so it's going to be huge, you know, um, on the Twitter account, I do encourage you to follow, you know, it's the Uniswap of VeChain is coming. And it's the main goal is to tackle the, the gas fees of Ethereum and provide a new solution and a, a much cheaper solution. On the VeChain website as well, there is the VeChain research link as well, where you can actually find out what they're up to and all the things that they're um, currently working on. And it's, you know, the, the news is starting to get out already because it's coming, you know, like it's only a matter of, uh, only a matter of time until this all starts to come to fruition. And the best time to get on board these uh, projects is before the, you know, the projects launch. And so VexChange is coming soon. And if you follow the Twitter account, you know, they start to give you more information, a little bit more about how it's going, how it's progressing and, and what it's about. But VeChain moving into the DeFi space is very, very exciting. A couple of days ago, I posted a video about why VeChain can go to 50 cents. And I believe, you know, I got a few comments in the section saying, oh, 50 cents is a little bit weak. You know, I think it could actually go to a dollar. And 
for me personally, I like to look at things in a strategic way. We haven't even hit 10 cents yet, so let's not talk about a dollar until we, we get to 50. And then when we get to 50 cents, we can you know make assumptions about where we go to next. Uh, I really, really don't like the hype. I believe 50 cents is extremely, extremely achievable um, during this bull run. Can we get to a dollar? Let's have a look, you know, like, let's see how these next couple of months progress. But let me know in the comments, you know, are you excited about the possibility of, you know, VeChain, DeFi? What does it mean? Can it tackle Ethereum head on with the gas fees and the decentralized finance model? You know, if they get this right, it's going to be massive. So hope you learned something on the video today. If you liked it, hit the like and subscribe button and look forward to see you on the next one.